Hello, anglers. I'm J.B. Salter, your guest host on the Outdoor Kitchen Show today. I got a nice one there, boys. I got a nice one. Got him on the cricket this time. He's, he's, this is a good one. That's another bass, y'all. How about that? Catch everything on crickets. He's kind of small. It has to be 14 inches in the chop light basin. She got, she got a big one. All we need is got about six good brim. I got another one. Seemed to hit a little honey hole down there. Maybe this is a chinky pin. Ooh, look at that big chink pin. That's what we came for. He liked that cricket. Not as big, but he's, now that's a little bluegill. He's kind of little today. Some days we might eat that fish. Other, today we're gonna kind of pull a little nut size. This is, this particular little spot here has uh, got some good water in it. It's, kind of milky, but it's still good. And uh, they seem to be gathered up in this little spot right here in front of this, where this Y is, where this other canal leads off right there. And I think there's a little current moving here too, which causes these fish to congregate right here. There's one. That's a nice one. Sacrale. Nice sackily. Only one. We switched to worms a while ago. See if we could catch some chink pin on those worms. See, I didn't even lose my worm. That's a nice sackily. I got another one. Nice one this time, too. Nice chink pin. Oh, yeah. Switch to worms, folks. This now we're catching a few chinky pin. Of course, I think too we kind of got up a little closer to those piling where those other folks been catching them. It was nice enough to say we could get up there and head up a little bit. Today we're out here in the Greater Chapala Basin. It's 60 miles north and south, and 18 miles wide, and one of the greatest fishing places in the United States. And it's good for about 12 or 13 kinds of fish, six or seven a very good sport fish, good for bass, people who like to catfish on the bottom, people who like to cycle they fish with jigs, or like we're doing this morning, we're fishing with worms and crickets for chink fin and bluegill. Got another one. Sackle this time. Catch him on a piece of night crawler about an inch and a half long. That's big enough to eat. We got another good one. What is that, a sackle? A big one. Look at that, look at that. Beauty. I'm that close to a pound. On night crawlers, down in holes in that grass, right out in the middle. That's three fish on the same piece of worm. No doubt I couldn't catch them on jigs too. They really love a jig. You can make that jig move. Let me show you what we're using. We're using 
Salter's weighted panfish hook. It's a little special hook that I make. And it, it's made out of acid core solder and a small hook with a small bend in it. And it really works good with crickets, worms, grass shrimp. And the beautiful part about it, you can go right down to it and get it loose if it gets hung. You can punch it right off of what it is hung to. There he is. That's another good one. Very good one. Oh, that's a beauty. That's the biggest one to date for us. Now that one's off. That must be a pound. Now who is that? Who's that giving instructions? Huh? Hey, the, the one catches the most fish, they can tell jokes and give instructions, huh? Huh? How are they doing it? That's the privilege you get for catching the most fish. Now, even though the captain probably put her in that spot. And look at that. Look at her. She got another one. She got a honey hole there. Well, the captain, you know what the captain could do? He could swing the boat around the other way where she couldn't get there. <laughs> and then she wouldn't she wouldn't be hollering so loud. That's what this captain does. <laughs> He's swing it around. Huh? Right, well, I try to treat people nice, you know. Y'all accuse me of that, but uh, that's not really so. You can say anything you want about me. As long as you keep mentioning my name. Okay, folks, we, we switched to a cork this time. There he is. Got a nice, nice chinky pin. Look at that one. Oh, dog. Look like they're suspended using a piece of, about a one inch long night crawler. Chinky pin was distributed by the government back in the 30s or 40s for food value throughout southern United States. It has a little pink tab on its gill flap. That's how you recognize them. And they're kind of gray looking and they're very strong fish. Okay, there's two kind of casts we use. One is the underhand, give it line as, as it's going out there. And the second is the overhand. It's very easy in this open water and there's nothing, no obstructions that you get hung in. So that's easier to do, the overhand cast. Get it out there about 25, 30 feet, very easy. There he is again. Not so big. Good eater though. That's an eater today. Very good to cook. Oh no, that's a little bit small. But give him that. And we have to thank these people for letting us fudge on their place. Inviting us. There he goes. There's another one. Oh, that's a beauty. It was. Was a beauty. You notice we're fishing about two feet under, the, under that float. That's a styrofoam float. And even if it, if it does get hung, you can push that styrofoam float right on down to that weighted hook and get it loose. Very easy. That's why you use a styrofoam with a pig instead of uh, plastic uh, floats that have little clips on them. There he is again. Another nice one. That's a bluegill. That's a female bluegill. The, the red ones are the males and the white and the yellow ones are the females, as far as I know about this fish. We love fishing with JB, but we love his fish fry even more. So let's head back to the kitchen. 